Let's graph the linear equation x plus 3y equals 6. And we're going to use the slope intercept form to do that. So the first thing we need to do is to get y by itself up here with this x plus 3y equals 6. Let's subtract x from both sides. That'll give us, and then let's move the 6 to the end here because that way it'll look more like slope intercept form. We still do need to get y by itself though. Let's divide both sides by 3. So 3 over 3 is 1, 1y, one that's the same as y. Then we have negative x over 3 plus 6 divided by 3 is just 2. So now we have this in slope intercept formula. Our y intercept, that's 2. So we'll go to the y axis, find 2, and that's our y intercept. That's where we'll cross the y axis. For the negative x over 3, let's just call this negative 1 over 3. It's still negative x, just now we can say the negative 1 is the rise, and 3, that's the run. So we go to our y-intercept, we're going to rise negative 1. So if it was just positive 1, we'd go up. We're rising a negative 1, so we're going to go down 1. And then the 3, we run 1, 2, 3 to the right. Let's do another point. We have this point here, we rise negative 1, means we go down, and we run three. One, two, three to the right. You can see they all line up there. Let's put a line through that. Then we could put arrows to show that this goes to infinity, and that's the line for x plus 3y equals 6. You could also do this with a table of values, and you'd end up with the same line. This is Dr. B graphing x plus 3y equals 6. Thanks for watching.